Hey guys, today I am going to talk about the biggest scalper I've ever seen in my life. And it is Endo, it's a guy named Endo, who's Unlisted Leaf. He does Pokemon openings, and he teamed up with StockX. So if you're not into Pokemon, the Celebration set, which is going to... Man, it's going to be a panic. If you thought scalping was bad with the evolutions and evolving skies and even a year ago you haven't seen anything yet the celebration packs are one of the most desirable i probably say i would probably say the most desirable pack in the last two to three years and people are scalping them already and the scalping comes from box breaking now this is very weird because he's selling a box break on StockX, but he's not actually in the u.s I think the box break is being done in Los Angeles. And this guy lives in the UK, I believe. And he's just going to be reacting to the polls. <laughs> so so I understand, you know, he's charging five times as much money. So basically he's scalping. So it would be like him going to Walmart, finding a Celebrations ETB for $50. And then trying to sell that ETB to his user base for $250, $300. And then he would do the box break, and you might be like, oh, well, he's got to spend his time. He's got to you know, go to Los Angeles. No, he's not doing any of that. He's going to do a React video. So he's not ever going to touch the cards. And so how much are these, what is the market price for ETB? Or what's a market price for a four-pack celebrations pokemon again this is the this is the market price so this is already scalped it's about eight dollars and 89 cents so nine dollars so what would we expect a autographed endo card and three of these packs to go for you might be like oh thirty dollars that's a pretty good deal maybe you pay a little bit extra for shipping and you would be wrong because it is way more expensive than that now, there is a possibility they're going to grade the top 20 cards, but that's not very many cards. And that doesn't really add much. So in terms of expected value, it doesn't really add much. So these are the market prices I'm going to show you for the product. So this one has, it looks like, four celebration packs, a Sylveon. So you're looking around $10 a pack, which is a lot of money for four cards. Remember, this isn't a typical... Now, again celebrations you get the gold star umbreon i think is a the very good one. obviously the base set charge hard charge art again with is going to be popular you get venusaur blastoise but this is scalping beyond anything that anyone can imagine you know you think the dude at walmart or target is bad or i guess you can't buy a target anymore because it's banned you think the dude at walmart is bad when he stocks up He's probably trying to flip for like $2 or he's probably trying to flip at most for like 50% more than he bought it for. So if you wanted, if you wanted to buy from him in the parking lot, probably, you know, ask for 50%. So you were to buy the, and I know cause I buy from scalpers and a lot of people are offended, but like, that's the only way I can stock my inventory. I have something like 50, like no 150 250 evolving skies with the umbreon and i bought it from a scalper i paid him 47 48 uh, they go for 40 and then with tax 43 this is scalping beyond any imagination so i buy from scalpers to stock my store because i don't have a choice and i don't rescalp. i don't reprice i just sell it for what it is this dude is selling free packs on a break that he's not even going to enter. He's not even going to spend his own time. I get it. Hey, you know, maybe let's fly him out to Los Angeles. Let's treat him to a nice hotel. Give him some, you know, a good meal. It'll be a really fun time. But that's not what's happening here. What's happening is the people at StockX are going to open the product. And, and then he's going to later, I guess, react to the top hits. Like, it's so ludicrous, right? So I, I get it. Hey, you want your favorite YouTuber to open your product, interact with you, talk with you in real time. 
and share that excitement. Oh my gosh, you got the Umbreon, you got the, you know, the Mew, the Shining Mew, right? Beautiful card. But that's not what's happening. <laughs> He'll react to it probably four weeks later. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's so dumb, right? And these people, these YouTubers, these pokey YouTubers, they always tell you, oh, scalpers are bad. Scalpers are so evil. They're just the evil people, right? And they, they, they honestly are worse than scalpers. These box breakers, and you know who I'm talking about, Unlisted Leaf. It just so happened that Unlisted Leaf is the first one to take advantage of it. But you know who you know. There's a many, many more Pokemon box openers who are going to flay. But at the very least, they're actually opening the pack. So give Poke Rev credit, right? He actually opens the packs in real and live streaming with you or for Yu-Gi-Oh! Ruxin, right? In the game I mostly invest in, Magic the Gathering, we don't even, like, Rudy doesn't even, Alpha Investment doesn't even open the packs live. He just uploads the video. <laughs> so it's, it, it's better than nothing, but it's pretty close to nothing. Because if you're going to pay a dude that you enjoy to open packs for you, and then later on, you find out he's not actually physically opening the packs. He's just, even though he ha he's giving you a signed card, and the signed card makes it seem like he's opening the packs, right? Like, why is he just shipping off a bunch of signed cards? He's going to sign, what, 10,000 cards and ship them off to StockX? Anyway, yeah, he's asking for a lot of money, uh, a lot of money over what these packs typically cost. And it's going to be a race. It will be an absolute race at your Walmart, your Target online. I think Target does it online now. It's going to be a race for Walgreens and CVS. Everyone and their grandmother wants these packs. And you know, and I know what's going to happen the first week. People will be like, oh, I hate scalpers. I can't believe scalpers. And those same people who hate scalpers so much, they'll go ahead and enter one of these with StockX. So regardless of what you think about scalpers, you know, I will at least say this, like a scalper is a small, I mean, we could consider a scalper a small business owner, okay? And StockX is the ultimate scalper. So if you are thinking, oh, you know, scalpers are so bad and I can't believe scalpers, well, what do you think StockX is? It's basically, <laughs> it's a haven for st scalpers, right? That means, I mean, if you think one day, I mean, where do you, you believe scalpers sell their cards to? It's, it's like Omega Dog, guys. Come on, like, let's use our head right now. Let's think about this for a moment in time. Let's say you bought a bunch of Pokemon cards. You bought a bunch of Celebration cards. And now you want to sell them and you don't want to sell them in person because you don't want, I don't, you just don't want people to know. Where would you go? You could maybe go on eBay, maybe on TCG player, maybe StockX to re scalp your product. So the king of telling people scalpers are bad. Oh, I hate scalpers. Scalpers evil is himself scalping at a uh, at a rate that no one could even imagine this is honestly a rate that no one i mean this is a crazy crazy upcharge and i get it yeah i i 100 get it if and only if the guy's actually opening the cards like a pokey grab or a Ruxin. But it makes zero sense what's going on here. He's not doing it live streamed. He's he's going to react to the big hits later. So if you're paying to interact with... And I understand you pay to interact with your favorite YouTuber. And you're paying for their time and you know them to talk to you. Kind of like a phone line where if you're lonely at night, you call into the phone line and a tow number and you char get charged per minute. Very similar to those rates and or you know that type of relationship, but I, this doesn't make any sense. This is like beyond silly, because the I mean 
the, the reason it makes no sense is he's not opening the box. He's doing a box break. The, the, box, the, the product is being opened in Los Angeles. He's still going to be in, oh, I think he's in Australia. I don't think he's in the UK. That must have been someone else. Uh, he's in Australia. He won't even react to it in the same day because of the time zone difference. <laughs> like, it doesn't make any sense. It basically is StockX scalping product at five times the market rate, five to six times the market rate, and then giving a kickback to unlisted leaf. And yet we hate scalpers, right? We, we're so anti-scalper. We, we really just are so disgusted at scalping. But the same people who say they hate scalpers themselves, I honestly think they hate scalpers because they are scalping. So it's competition. And it's the worst type of competition. Like StockX is not a friendly company. It's a big bad. It's like the Walmart of reselling. So if you have a friend who just wants to make extra money for gas or whatever it is, I feel much more comfortable giving him the extra money. And that's what I do with these resellers. I have good relationships. They make money. I, may, I can restock. I don't make any money from them. I just sell them for the exact price I receive from a reseller. But it does make me sick to see something like this. Hi, guys.